Zabil 1 Tower. One Zabil project is currently under construction and will be located between the Dubai World Trade Center and Zabil Park. The project will consist of two towers linked by a suspended bridge. The two towers will host offices, an ultra-luxury hotel and residences, high-end restaurants and a large retail area. Designed by Japanese firm Nikon Seke, and developed by ITRA Dubai, the latest addition to Dubai's skyline is a mixed-use two towers. With its two towers connected by a steel bridge structure, which will extend as the world's longest cantilever, one Zabil is set to become the next iconic building in Dubai. With its central location and its engineering a world first, this mixed-use sustainable development will be a modern hub for a variety of residents and visitors. The residential tower will be 54 floors high with 145 simplex and duplex apartments. The second tower will be 67 floors and will host an ultra-luxury hotel, serviced apartments, offices and the investment corporation of Dubai's new HQ. The two towers will have seven basement levels and a four-level podium above ground which will house retail, restaurants, social space and conference halls. Above the podium, the towers will be connected by the 228 meters link bridge with 66 m long cantilever link, which will be 100 meters above ground, and 87 meters above the elevated highway running between the towers. The link will be the longest cantilever in the world to span from a tower. The link will include restaurants, a 140-meter-long rooftop pool and panoramic views of Zabil Park, downtown Dubai, Dubai Creek, Burj Khalifa and the dual carriageway below that goes through the two towers. Currently being built on the podium, the link bridge along with cantilever will be completed at that level and then lifted into place to connect the buildings. The 8,250-ton link bridge will take four days to lift and requires bespoke temporary steel gantry structures to be built and partially embedded into the permanent concrete walls. One Zawil is just as impressive below ground, going down 38.5 meters and spanning seven floors the basement will be in the deepest in the Middle East, using the space for over 2,500 car parks, storage and maintenance rooms, maximizing above ground efficiency. The enabling works for the basement took 24 months to complete, and the unprecedented depth required new techniques to dehydrate, cure and stabilize the concrete. The two towers and associated basements are connected by two underground tunnels at basement 2 and basement 1 levels. The design and construction of the tunnel was complicated due to the proximity with the existing overhead highway bridge piers and its foundations.